Well, I just cannot get enough of these metallics all of a sudden. You know, when you get when you get um, obsessive compulsive disorder, you are a paint pouring person, number one. And on these metallics, I just did one the other day and I th uh, it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted. And I thought, I'm not giving up till I get kind of what I want. So today is another metallic day. Most all of these are full cart. I've got two different coppers mixed in there. This is a dark uh, bronze, normal bronze, gold, silver, uh, metallic black, and I've got some uh, Amsterdam white sitting over there by itself contemplating what it wants to be part of. And I'll put the white down here in a second, and uh, I think I'm going to do an open cup and drag it a little bit this way, and then do some blowing with either the big blower or the mini blower. I don't know. So stand by. I'll be back when I get everything ready and we'll see what we can come up with today. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've got my black, black backsplash on. I don't have the front one on yet because I need to reach in there. So let's, uh, let's start with, ooh, I guess I'll start right there with the pedal. Piddle, a puddle, <laughs> yeah, piddle puddle, a puddle right there, not very delicate, and I've got two cups that I've been using, I put them together and the darn things welded together, so I'm going to do a, a two cupper right there, and I'll start off with, should have had these lined up I guess, shouldn't I, well I didn't. And I apologize. Okay. I think I'm ready to dive into this. Here we go. Okay, how about a torch? All right. All righty, all righty. Let's move these paint cups out of the way in case I start my blower up. It will blow them away. Yeah, while I'm doing that, at least the paint is intermingling with itself. Creating little bubbles and what you call it. Okay, get the black out of there. All right. Uh, I think a little tipping is in order here. Ready?
Um, okay, I think I will let that sit and develop into uh, little bubbly patterns and not try to stretch it out too much anymore. I may do some blowing at this end, this way and that way a little bit with the blower. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm just going to look at it and live with it for a few minutes and, and let it, let it uh, work on my brain. So I will be back. Stand by, please. Okay, I'm back. I am going to have to do something. <laughs> Oh, excessive compulsive disorder. Here we go. I am going to use a mini blower and go for it. Hmm, that was fun, wasn't it? I kept some of the the bubbly cells and made some woofies. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it might carry okay also, which is good. So, I'm going to put my little blower down and clean the edges up a little bit. Look at it, see if I have any boogers hoogers in it and dig them out if I do. Uh, I'm bringing it a little closer for you. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Mm, I think I like it. Uh, stand by, I'll be back with some finish up shots and uh, ooh, we may call this a fun day. Stand by. Okay, how about a little tiny little close up here and we'll come in and we'll just have a look at the at the different um, mixture of the paints, I think they, I think they did pretty darn good. I, it doesn't look as metallic-y as I would have thought. Well, it's wet, but if you hit the light just right, as I'm sure you know about the metallics, they do shimmer, and uh, and I, it's going to be a pretty when it's dried. I think that's only going to be able to present itself one way, and that's the way I painted it. I've looked at it from different angles, and it, it appears to present itself better this way. So uh, I'll turn this off and take a couple of still shots, get rid of some of the, the flashy lights overhead, and we will call this a successful pour. And this is Richard B. saying thanks for watching.